amazing visionaries. When you treat everybody the same, the message that you're sending out is that everyone is equal. Because that's the reality of things. Everybody is equal. We all bleed the same blood. Everybody bleeds the same blood. So, if you want to stop blocking your blessings, treat everybody the same. That person that you think is not smart enough to have like smart conversations with you, they deserve the same treatment. That person that you think is not rich enough to, you know, associate with you, they deserve to be treated with the same respect. Every other person, young children, young children who are way younger than you, they deserve to be treated as humans. Do you not be the kind of person who think that some people are subhumans? Some people are half humans simply because in your mind you scale people based on their status. You scale people based on parameters of education level, financial status, you know, uh, socioeconomic backgrounds and so on. Because if that's you, you are wrong. People are all equal. I personally do not look up to anyone. There's no person I look at to and I think they're better than other people. No matter how rich you may, you may be, no matter how smart you may be, in my eyes, never think that you are more special than other people. Everyone I meet, I try to make everyone to feel special. That's the kind of person that I am. The same way I treat other people and you think I'm caring and all that. That's the same way that I'll meet someone who's not like that person. And I'll still give them the same treatment and make them to feel and to know that they're special, they're human. And they, deserve, and they deserve to be loved. If you're in a position to do that, then you are ready to stop blocking your blessings. So any person, no matter where they are in life, that status, learn to treat people the same way. Okay? Do not give other people an upper hand and then other people, you, you know, kind of look down on them because that is one thing that will block your blessings. I was taught or I was raised up to learn to treat people. I was raised up by loving parents who, who loved people, who welcomed everyone. Rich, poor people, when they came to our home, they were always given a special treatment as though they're all special, you know. At home, we are neighbors to one of the top officials in this country. But, you know, we treat that official the same way that we treat a commoner. You know, that there's no any special treatment between him and other people. Yeah. Even that kids, they know. Even his kids know. We, we used to play with them when they were young. And how we treat those kids, one of them is my friends. How I play with her is the same way that I would play with other girls who are not children of the top officials because that's the whole thing treat everybody equal there are no people who deserve to be treated with an upper hand and others you know you you, you look down on them based on you know i don't know what parameter you people use to do that but for me that's how i was raised up i was raised up to to to, to treat the ceo and the janitor with the same respect that's how my my parents that's how my parents raised me up. They taught me these values that the same way you treat a, a CEO is the same way that you treat a janitor. The same way that you treat uh, this person is the same way that this person deserves to be treated. So for me, when I look at humans, I don't see your titles, okay? No matter how smart you may be, no matter how rich you may be, in my eyes, you're the same person and I'll give you the same respect that I'll give another person who may not be of the same status as you. So, amazing visionaries, when you treat people in the same respect, when you give people the same respect, regardless of who they are in society, regardless of their status, you are going to learn the secrets of this world that what you see out there, the person who is celebrated, is not any better than the person that you think that a nobody. 
what you see in that person who's out, who, who's who's there you know with a high status is just the persona it's just them pulling an act you know they're expected to carry themselves in a certain um behavior and that's what they do better they pull they put on that on that persona but once you you you, you treat people once you're someone who treat people equally the mask that people are wearing falls off and then before you know it you start seeing people for their unique traits or for their uniqueness you start to 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 identify that people are so unique in in an amazing way and that's how you attract your blessings so amazing visionaries it's only when you stop putting other people on the pedestal and looking down on others that you can learn a lot about life you can learn that the same person that you look down on who is homeless has got so many life lessons that you can learn from them and those life lessons can teach you and open your mind to the bigger picture of this world that we exist in Their view of the world can help and shape your mind and your perspective of the world. So, start treating people equally and begin to attract blessings into your life. And stop blocking blessings into your life. So, amazing visionaries, you got to be careful with how you treat people. You know, just because you've got few subscribers on YouTube, this is because you've got a certain number of followers, page likes on Facebook, followers on Instagram, followers on Twitter. Be careful how you treat people because the same people that you look down on today because of the small achievements that you have in your life are the same people that because right now you think you're going up, you're looking down on them. That the same people that you're going to meet on your way down because life is unpredictable. Life is unpredictable. You do not know where you'll be tomorrow. So it's very important to treat people equally. Vision squad. Another way in which you have to stop blocking your blessing. Another way in which you have to start attracting blessings is to not allow your talents to go to waste. If you don't use it, you're going to lose it. Definitely, for sure, you're going to lose it. So it is very important that when you have a talent, you use it. The same way that I have a talent of linguistic, the same way that I have a talent to switch from one language to another, I gotta use this talent. It is not everybody who can do what I'm doing right now. I just switched from another accent to this one because this is a talent. If you don't use your talents, you do not know when you're going to die. You do not know when you are going to, 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 to lose it. So it is very important that when you have a talent, the reason why every time I create content, every time I'm up to something is because I do not want any of my talents to go to waste. You got to be grateful for the talents that the universe has blessed you with. You got to be grateful for the talents that uh, God has blessed you with and you use them. That's how you show your gratitude. I've met so many people who have been blessed with amazing, incredible talents, but they never utilize them. That's um, that's that's being ungrateful. And you have to learn to start using your blessings. Use your blessings to impact the world in one way or another. Use them. Stop burying your blessings. A talent that is left unutilized is a buried blessing and you should stop burying your blessing i am great i am great i'm an epitome of greatness simply because i use my talents simply because i do not sit on the talents that god has blessed with me with simply because i do not bury the gifts that god has bestowed in my life that is one thing that makes other people to be great and to embody greatness and others remain the same throughout because others have been blessed with talents and they do not utilize that talents 
they do not you know use their talents to impact the world to make a difference in the world amazing visionaries the word talent or the epitomology of the word talent is derived from latin word talentum which means the sum of money therefore if you are someone who uses your talents eventually your talents are going to be are going to make you to be financially free wealthy and healthy so many people block their blessings by not putting value or by not adding value to the talents that they've been bestowed with by the universe or by god but the only way that you can stop to block your blessings is to look at your talents and from now from now on start to tell yourself that this is my talent i'm going to use it to enrich myself to enrich my family and to enrich everybody else who comes into contact with me that's what i've done with my life once i identify the talents that god has restored me with talking just talking like this is a talent and i use it if you can talk why not make a talk show if you can talk why not talk on youtube why not talk somewhere talk huh so use your talents to enrich yourself to enrich your family to enrich every other person who comes into contact with you to enrich your friends your circle another way another way another way in which people block their blessings is that they don't understand that your ego vision spot your ego is not your amigo have you ever seen people who allowed that ego to get on the way of some of the most important friendships and relationships that were possibly or that could have possibly turned into something amazing you know people who sacrifice uh, important relationships family friends and some of the most 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 precious friendships with ego have you ever had people say oh these people could have looked good together yes it could be you who've been told that but because you love the ego to get along the way it ruined everything it could be you somewhere watching the sun together with someone but because you allow the ego to come in there it's just an idea that will never come to pass so stop allowing your ego to get in the way of some of the blessings that the universe send you each and every day because time waits for no one time is always ticking tick tock tick tock tick tock tick tock tick tock tick tock that's what the time does so if you're going to allow the ego to get in your way you're going to be one of the people who're going to regret later on in life because you take some of the blessings that the universe has sent on your way for granted so amazing visionaries to attract love happiness and wealth start taking the heart and put it in the front seat and take the ego put it in the back seat that's how you start to attract new blessings into your life that's how you start to block that's how you stop to block blessings that are coming your way you have to come to this realization that when you take your ego ego is a beautiful servant and also ego is a bad master you got to learn that when you take your heart space and put it in the front seat of your life your friendships will improve your relationships with other people will improve and this will not only increase your happiness it will increase your productivity it will improve your health your wealth as well will increase and that's how you attract blessings that's how your blessings increase in life your ego your ego you 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 know who I'm talking to you, you you're watching this you know your ego is the one that's blocking you from receiving your blessings you have a huge ego you have a big ego and this ego is the one that blocks your blessings 
Your ego is making you to not apologize for the things you do wrong. When you've wronged other people, when you mistreat other people, you feel too big to apologize. You feel too big to humble yourself and say, I'm sorry, I wronged you because you have a big ego. And this ego, like I said, is a bad master. It's the one that's blocking your blessings. And to attract blessings or to stop blocking your blessings, you have to get rid of the ego. Let go of the ego. Let go of the ego. Another way in which you can stop blocking blessings into your life is to learn the art of accepting compliments. I don't know if you've come across the kind of people that when you tell them that, oh, you have such a beautiful smile, you have a cute smile, I like your laughter, oh, nice shoes, nice dress, I like your t-shirt, your handwriting is very, very, very gorgeous. Instead of saying thank you, they, they either keep quiet, they're not receptive of the compliment, or they find something else to give credit to other than themselves. And when you do that, you are blocking your blessings because compliments are blessings in disguise. And you should learn to accept them. You should learn to receive them. Receive them and be like, thank you so much. Just yesterday, a friend of mine called me. A sister of mine, we've not talked in a long time. And in the call, as we started talking, she said, oh, Lisa, you are amazing. You are an inspiration. You inspire me. I'm proud of you. She said all sorts of sweet things that I started to feel, you know, it was flattering. And what I did was I said, thank you so much. I'm humbled. Thank you. And after saying that, after, after accepting the compliments, that's when now I started telling her that, okay, even though I'm so grateful, even though I received this beautiful, sweet compliment, the reason why I've reached that far is because of one, two, three. So learn to be receptive of compliments. That's how you stop blocking your blessings. This goes in two ways. It goes both ways. In as much as you should be receptive of the compliments that other people are giving you, you must also learn the art of giving out compliments. Compliment other people. Say good things about other people. Even in that absence, learn to give people, learn to embrace others publicly. And for me, that's the art that, for some of you, you wonder how I achieve, how I grow daily, how I achieve the things I achieve. It's, it's nothing magical. It's these small things that I practice in my life. I shower those people around me with compliments. My friends, I tell them, you are amazing. You are talented. You inspire me. Even the ones who tell me that I inspire them, I can find something positive in them. I can find something inspiring in them. And I tell them, my friend, you are inspiring me with this particular trait. Keep it up. My friend, I like this character of yours. Keep it up. My friend, you are so hardworking. You inspire me to work hard too. Thank you for being there. Thank you for being such an inspiration in my life. Thank you for being, sometimes thank people just for being a support system. The people who are always there cheer, cheering you, cheering everything you do, your successes, all that. People who believe so much in you more than they believe in themselves. Sometimes, just take time and let it be less about you. Reach out to them and tell them how amazing they are. Tell them how, you know, they, how much they inspire you in as much as you inspire them. So amazing missionaries, giving other people compliments lifting others up celebrating other people embracing the great traits in them celebrating them telling them how amazing they are that's how you attract blessings into your life that's how you stop blocking blessings in your life learn to give a compliment daily sometimes just text someone and tell them how amazing they are sometimes you know take your phone buy a time call someone who has been inspiring you. It could be me, it could be some other person. Email them, do something, go on that page, tell them how amazing they are. Do not be the kind of person who reach out to people only because 
you want something from them sometimes just go out there send someone a message telling them how inspiring they are to you how inspired you felt in being in contact with them and leave the rest to the universe leave the rest to god and watch how you're going to start to attract blessings into your life if you think someone is awesome do not wait up right now take your phone do not worry about being seen do not worry about you know being blue ticked do not worry about those things because remember it's about you stopping to block your blessings it's not about the other person so take your phone tell that person dear so and so i think you're amazing i've been following you and i think you're such an amazing person i thank god for your life i celebrate you thank you for being in existence or thank you for existing regards the visionary for all times that's that's all you have to do that's all you have to do and i'm glad to say that most of you amazing visionaries you understand this principle most of you that's what you always do you come into our page you share with us these sweet messages uplifting messages of how our life or my life inspires you how my life has uplifted you how some of my messages how the books that you read that i wrote have impacted you and you are going to attract blessings into your life that's how you attract blessings into your life so learn to give people compliments and learn to receive be open to receive compliments from other people